The Shadow Wings 2 from Be Quiet, is it worth your money or does it just leave you with hot air in your case? Let's find out. What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. As always, there are timestamps in the description so you can jump to whatever interests you, but as always, I do recommend you watch the whole review. If you do find this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. I release PC related videos every week. Starting off with a quick overview of the Shadow Wings 2 series from Be Quiet. There are only two different 120mm fans. The Shadow Wings 2, which has a 3-pin fan connector, and the Shadow Wings 2 PWM, which has a 4-pin fan connector. The fan I tested was the Shadow Wings 2 PWM. It has a rated RPM of 1100. It has a 7-fin design, it has a rifle bearing, and a PWM 4-pin connector. There is a 3-year manufacturer's warranty. There are the color options of black or white. And it has an MSRP of 15 US dollars. Before getting into the results of my testing, I wanted to be very clear. All this testing is based off of a sample size of 1. So this isn't necessarily the exact same performance that you'll get, but it should be relatively close. Starting with the PWM range, at 0 PWM it has an RPM of 477 and at 100% PWM it has an RPM of 1180. Moving on to the standardized testing, if you have any questions on how I test the fans, please watch my fan methodology testing video. There should be a card along the top, I'll also have it linked in the description and that should answer your questions. Starting off with the DBA and RPM testing, at 4 volts, it was at or below the noise floor of my room with a DBA of 32 and an RPM of 350. Now this is below the PWM range, so you do have to keep that in mind. It won't actually go this low if you're using it as a PWM fan. At 6 volts, it was still at or below the noise floor of my room and had an RPM of 570. At 8 volts, the DBA only went up to 32.1 with an RPM of 780. At 10 volts, the sound level went up to 32.2 dBA and had an RPM of 980. And finally, at 12 volts, the dBA didn't change, so it's still at the 32.2, and now it has an RPM of 1175. Now, I did take some sound recordings, but I'm only gonna be playing the ambient room noise and 12 volts because there really isn't much of a difference here. So the ambient room sound for reference. Okay, moving on to the airflow charts. At four volts with no obstructions, it had an FPM of eight. But again, the RPM was below the PWM range. So jumping up to 12 volts just to save some time. So at 12 volts with no obstructions, it had an FPM of 198. With the meshed panel, it had an FPM of 188. And with the covered panel, it had an FPM of only 52. Moving on to the comparison charts, I'll be comparing the Shadow Wings 2 to the Fractal Design Dynamic X2 GP12, which has an MSRP of 16 US dollars. I'll also be comparing it to the Deepcool RF120 LED, which has an MSRP of only 6 US dollars. There is also an RGB version of this fan, which should be around 10 US dollars. And the final fan I'll be comparing it to is the Arctic F12 PWM PST, which has an MSRP of 10 US dollars. Now, as you can see, all these fans are reasonably quiet. But with that being said, the Shadow Wings 2 PWM is barely showing up on this chart, even at 12 volts. However, as we continue on to the non-obstructed airflow test, the Shadow Wings 2 moves far less air than the other fans do when voltage equalized. In the mesh panel testing, things don't really change much. All the fans do drop slightly, but not in any meaningful way. Now in the covered panel testing, things do change quite a bit. There is a large FPM drop across all the fans. The Shadow Wings 2 does drop off the chart completely after 10 volts, while most of the other fans still do manage to move some air. So we're just gonna jump right into the 34 dBA testing. So I have the fans noise equalized to 34 dBA or to 12 volts if the fans don't actually get up to 34 dBA. So at 12 volts with no obstructions, the Shadow Wings 2 PWM pushed 198 FPM, which has it at the bottom of the list. Now, before everyone starts screaming at me in the comments, let me please point out 
the Fractal Design Dynamic GP12, not the GPX2, but just the Dynamic, at 32.3 dBA, had an FPM of 240, which outperforms the Shadow Wings 2 by 20% with essentially no sound level difference. With the mesh panel, the Shadow Wings 2 PWM at 12 volts pushed 188 FPM, which again has it at the bottom of the list. Then with the covered panel, the Shadow Wings 2 PWM at 12 volts or 32.2 dBA pushed 52 FPM, which actually does move it up the list a little bit because some of these other fans did very badly with the covered front panel. Now, what do I think of the Shadow Wings 2 PWM? It's a quiet fan with an okay warranty that doesn't move much air. The Shadow Wings 2 isn't a bad fan. There are just better performing fans that you can then create a fan profile for that then perform better at the same sound level. Something like the Arctic F12 PWM PST, which also costs less than the Shadow Wings 2 does. Now, it shouldn't be much of a shock, but I can't recommend this fan based off the price and performance. Now, if you do want a good low noise fan, I would recommend the Fractal Design GP12 Dynamic or Dynamic X2, and that would be a much better choice. Or if you are fine setting up a fan profile, the Arctic F series would also be a very good choice. And that's all I have for this one. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, maybe hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. Maybe check out some of these videos. Uh, they should be pretty much along the same lines of what you're watching right now. Uh, maybe check out the HFG Discord server. The link is in the description. It is completely free to join. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.